Have you ever heard of an EIN number? Have you ever heard of a social security number? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Coffee with David and Nelson. I'm your host, none other than him in the flesh. I got my boy Yahweh with me. He'll be rocking out with me today. We're going to talk briefly about tax ID numbers and social security numbers. Now, get this. When you are born, a baby is born or whatever, that child is given a social security number, nine digits, to identify that child. If you are starting a business, to all the entrepreneurs out there, the business owners, you know what I'm talking about when I say EIN number. You need an EIN number to basically get a bank account um, to do business and stuff like that. It's basically an identity. That's why it's a tax ID number. It gives your business or your entity uh, an identity through a, a sequence of numbers. Now, what's funny is, why would we as humans right first born we need a tax id number or a social security number right we're not a business we're not a corporation so why do we need a, <clears throat> a nine digit number that's called a social security number to identify us why is that have you even asked yourself that question or do you just accept the fact that you got nine digits that determine a lot about you and if it gets into the wrong hands it can do a lot of damage to your reputation it can do a lot of damage to a, a whole lot of your financial situation and stuff like that but when it comes to the tax id number and the social security number the, the tax id number is for like i say your business entity now they call it a business entity because it's almost like you're creating another person you know and you're doing business under that 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 name or that that person, you know, that person that you create. That's why I say your vision is like your baby. This, this business that you want to create, it's just like your baby. So with the tax ID number, that's how they identify your business. Now with the social security number, it's the same, it's almost like the same thing, you know, because you are identified buy your social security number in certain places especially when it comes to dealing with finances and money and you know if you're doing a job application and stuff like that that's how they pretty much keep up with you you know what i'm saying so it's a lot that goes on in the world that we never stop to question or ask questions on we just go with the flow and just accept certain things but you got to start asking these questions and and trying to understand like why is it we have to have a social security number when we are first born and then as you grow and you go do a job or you go fill out applications and stuff like that you you know you utilize that number more you know and think about this when you get paid your paycheck they got taxes and stuff that come out of that when you start a business and you start generating income and stuff there's taxes come out of that why are we taxed on making our own money if it's if it's our money why are we why do we have to pay pretty much to get our money you know what i'm saying have you ever stopped and asked yourself that like why is it that when i get my paycheck i go through and i look at all these things that i pretty much don't even use because technically if you pay for something right it's supposed to be yours. I mean, think about it. If you go to the store, if you go to Walmart, let's, I'm going to use Walmart for an example. If you go to Walmart and you're going through with your buggy and everything, when was the last time you seen somebody going through Walmart, pushing their buggy, and they shopping, they getting all this stuff. They got $150 worth of grocery. And they get to the, they get to the line, they pay for that, that the, the, the groceries. But then they just walk off and leave the buggy. When was the last time you seen somebody do that? Say, hey, this is my grocery. I'm going to pay $150 for it. And then just walk off and leave it. When was the last time you seen somebody do that? So, in other words, when you pay for something, technically it's yours, right? So, they say the tax money, we are tax paying citizens. And our money goes towards paying, like, 
for the road work, you know, paying for buildings and stuff to be built. Uh, it pay for neighborhoods to appreciate and value. It, you know, it pay for all these. It pay for even even the police system. You know, your tax your tax money. If you are a tax paying citizen, your tax money actually pays for the police departments and stuff like that. I bet you some of y'all didn't know that. So technically, if I'm not mistaken. So if I pay for something, it means mine. So that means whatever I pay for, I'm in ownership of it. So when you take that approach to certain things, look at you, we have to change our perspective and how we look at things because the thing is, the, the, the things that we are paying for, we don't even realize we are actually the owners of it. But we do not act like we're the, the owners of it because our perspectives haven't changed. We're still looking at things from a slave mentality. You know, are we controlled by materialistic things? You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we so focused on the, the latest iPhone or the latest pair of Jordans and stuff that they came out versus understanding that we should be in ownership of a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not create your own shoes? Why not create your own brand? Why not create your own t-shirts and stuff? You know, your own hats and stuff. And wear your own brand and be in ownership. You know, stop settling and just doing things because you see everybody else doing it. You know, everybody follow trends, but don't nobody become a trend. It's a difference, you know what I'm saying? And so, man, I want you to wake up, open your eyes and realize that these tax, the tax ID numbers and our social security number is basically because we are pretty much assets. We are small businesses. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got proof for you. Think about some of these high price uh, fashion, Gucci, Prada, Louis, I mean, Marc Jacobs. I mean, you, you name it. You go through majority Lamborghini, Ferrari, a lot of these top brand names and uh, high price fashion and vehicles and stuff like that. These materialistic things are actually last names of families. So these people are leaving legacies for families. They are branding their self because they understand that even though, you know, I get a social security number at birth, I still can go out here and create my own entity. I can create my own person and it does business for me and I can actually generate income through this person which is called a business entity and why because it gets a, a tax ID number which makes it identifiable by the IRS and but understand these people are creating businesses based on their last name and they are branding their last name and making money and getting paid high price dollars for t-shirts the same thing that i can make or you can make in your bedroom gucci a gucci shirt i seen was twelve hundred dollars i'm i had a customer true story i had a customer reach out to me wanted one t-shirt and i told her that it was thirty dollars she told me it was too much gucci same Pretty much same t-shirt, but based on the last name, same t-shirt, $1,200. And you got people out here that's fighting hard, spending stimulus money, spending tax money just to get the latest Gucci shirt or the Gucci this or Gucci that. And don't even realize, like, why not just create your own t-shirt and wear your own family legacy? You wearing somebody else's family legacy, but you won't even build your own family legacy. Like, this right here is my brand, Redeem Nation. Of course, this right here, Black B in there. Shout out to the uh, company. My wife actually got this shirt for me. It's a, a company out of Louisiana. Uh, they Black B in there, so make sure you look them up on, on social media. You know, it's, it's, it's show support. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do our best to try to support local entrepreneurs. Why? Because... It's no need to continue to go out here and, you know, push our hard earned money into big brands that really don't try to do anything for your neighborhood. 
You know what I'm saying? You going out and trying to get the latest Gucci shirt so you can walk around your neighborhood wearing that Gucci shirt so people can look at you, but it ain't even your family last name. But yet you part of a royal family yourself. You part of a royal lineage yourself, but you won't even support them. You know what I'm saying? So we need to change our perspective and, and change how we look at things. So, hey, I'm Davon Nelson. This been another episode of Coffee with Davon Nelson. Man, y'all be blessed. Thank you.